everyone knows, between two implants, it should be three millimeters. And between an implant and a tooth, it should be at a minimum of 1.5 millimeters. Now, what, what most people don't know is why, all right? And, and the why doesn't come down to a biological healing problem. It comes down to really a papillary fill problem. So if you read the original paper, what they did is they took two implants and they placed them. And this was back in the day. So these two implants were Brandemark looking implants. And so based on their implant design and their features, they usually lost about 1.5 to 2 millimeters of crustal bone. So that during the wound healing phase, they had a lot of cupping, okay? If you have two implants and they have cupping and they're far enough apart, the bone between the two implants doesn't change. The bone in between them doesn't change. If you move those two implants closer together, as those two implants get closer together, the cupping overlaps. And as the cupping overlaps, the crustal height in between the implants goes down. Well, this can be a significant problem in the aesthetic 